month, email and SMS marketing brought in $4,000 from one of my newer Shopify stores. And if you don't have a good email and SMS marketing strategy, I guarantee you, you are 100% leaving money on the table. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how to set up email and SMS marketing for your Shopify store and how to use it to bring in thousands of dollars every single month on autopilot. Now, first things first, you need to choose an email and SMS platform. My personal favorite is Omnisend, and I've honestly used it on every single Shopify store that I've ever ran. And in my humble opinion, it has some of the best pre-built automations and campaigns in the game. And I think for beginners, it is very, very easy to use and get set up fairly quickly. Now, if you would like to sign up for Omnisend, I do have a free trial link listed down below. Now, once you've chosen your platform, you need to actually connect it to your Shopify store. Now, Omnisend makes it very easy to do this. I'm going to walk you through it right now. Okay, so when you first log into Omnisend, it's going to take you to your dashboard page. Now, my page is going to look different from your page because my store is already connected. I've been running campaigns, etc. So this is what it looks like when everything is set up. It's clean. It tells you how your campaigns are working. I really love this dashboard. Now, to get your store connected to Omnisend, I'm going to walk you through that process right now. Now, what you're going to want to do is click up here on the top right where you put in your information, and then you're going to want to go to account management, okay? And then from account management, you're going to want to select stores, and then from there, you're going to want to add your store. Now, I've already added my store, right? You see it here. But if you wanted to add your store, you would click add new store, put in your business name, your website, select Shopify as your platform, put in your address, and then click add store. And then it's going to take you to a pop-up that has you add in your Shopify information and voila, your store is connected, okay? Now, once you have your store connected, there are a couple of things that you're gonna wanna do and make sure that are correct on Shopify to make sure that everything is talking accordingly. And I'm gonna walk you through that right now. Okay, so now that you have your Shopify store connected to Omnisend, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that it's also connected um, on your website. So what you're gonna wanna do is select online store, go to customize on your theme, and then when you go to your theme, you wanna make sure that you go to apps that are embedded and you wanna make sure that you have Omnisend toggled on, okay? You wanna make sure that this is on because this is gonna make sure that all your campaigns, abandoned cart sequences, triggers, all that stuff is in place. Now, sometimes this automatically gets toggled on, sometimes it doesn't, you know, so you wanna make sure that this is toggled on so you have no issues with your campaigns, okay? And then from there, what you wanna do is go to your settings, okay? And then you're gonna to wanna to go to checkout, okay? And one of the most important things when it comes to your checkout is making sure that you have email pre-selected on your checkout screen and you wanna make sure that you have SMS um, clicked as well so you can capture all the information that you have for your email and SMS. Now, once you have these two things in place, you are good to go to go back to Omnisend. Okay, so now that we're back in Omnisend, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step the automations and campaigns that you wanna set up ASAP for your Shopify store and walk you through the best practices and strategies for them, okay? So the very first thing that you wanna set up for your store is some type of pop-up, okay? Now, for my pop-up, I like to use the branded Wheel of Fortune, okay? Now, you can use whatever pop-up that you like or you think makes sense for your store, okay? They give you a lot of different ones um, that you can add, but you definitely want to make sure that you pick a pop-up that has some type of email or SMS capture, okay? SMS is extremely strong. Open rates are uh, a lot higher 
than any other campaign. So you want to make sure that you're able to collect emails and phone numbers. Okay, I made the mistake of not doing that with my pop ups. I only was collecting emails for like the first couple of months. And then I was like, man, I'm stupid. I should have got <laughs> phone numbers. Right. And so you definitely want to do this ASAP. And then you always want to give some type of discount. Okay, whether that's 10%, 15%, you know, whatever you feel comfortable with, you definitely want to get people to entice um, or entice them to get them to sign up. Okay, so again, I have my uh, pop up. I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's very simple. They spin the wheel. All they have to do is put in their email, their phone number, hit spin, and I collect their information. That is it. It's not super deep or complicated, but it works. Okay, now again, you can pick whatever you like, but you definitely want to have this set up immediately on your store, okay? And then after you set up your pop-up where you actually can collect emails and SMS, the first series or automation that you want to create is a welcome series, okay? My welcome series gets about 66% open rates and has generated me $4,000 all from people clicking the pop up, putting in their email list, and then you know sending them a welcome series. Now, again, Omnisyn has a lot of really good welcome series um, that you can use, right? To where it sends an email and an SMS um, uh, flow. But again, you can do what you like. But for me, I'm gonna walk you through my flow. Um, that you know has worked very very well. So mine isn't super complicated. If I actually click into it, you know I have really two emails when it comes to the flow. And essentially, someone signs up, and then I send them a email. I send them a uh, text message. Then I wait two days, and I send them another email. Okay, that's it, right? super effective it works um and so this is the first sequence i recommend that you put on your store and you'll be surprised <laughs> how much money you can make off this simple sequence okay it is foundational in pretty much every store and i recommend that you set it up okay now the second one that i recommend that you have is some type of abandoned cart sequence again you know, Omni, OmniSend has already a pre-built custom flow that you can kind of tailor and mess with yourself. It already has these emails for you. All you have to do is click customize, right? And it's already gonna give you an email template that you can use with headlines, everything in here um, that you need, okay? Now, for me, for my email flow or abandoned cart flow, I send five emails, or how many emails is it? One, two, three, four, five, yes. And I do it all a day apart. Um, this has worked well for me. And I would also recommend that you check out your competitors, add stuff to cart on their Shopify store and see what your competitors are doing. I like to look at my competitors and I see like, okay, how many emails are they sending after I add to cart? What are the headlines they're using? What type of images are in the emails themselves? You know what I mean? What type of offers are they giving me? Are they giving 10%, 50%, 20%, buy one, get one free, etc. So you definitely want to analyze your competitors and start to craft your strategic approach based on you know your own business and what you see may be working for your competitors as well. For me, the five emails work well. Now, I will say typically people convert after the first two emails. After that, I don't, conversion rate really, really drops, right? But I always like to send, you know, five emails afterwards just to make sure that if somebody really wants something and they just really forgot, they can come back, okay? Now, those are really the two main sequences that you want to have in place for your Shopify store. That is really all you need from an automation standpoint. The other thing that you want to focus on from there is just, you know, creating really, really good campaigns 
um, and you are good to go. Now that you have the foundational knowledge of how email and SMS marketing works and how to set it up, I do recommend that you continue to test different things within your email and SMS marketing. Okay, you're always going to want to try different images, different headlines, even down to the timing of when you even send emails every single week. There are so many things that you could really test and honestly be anal about when it comes to your email and SMS marketing, but always be in a test and learn mindset when it comes to email and SMS marketing, because you can always learn a new strategy and to get better, but hopefully you have everything you need just to get started. Now, I do recommend that you check out this Facebook ad video, because I'm trying to tell you, like seriously, when you add Facebook ads with email marketing, you can really take your Shopify store to the next level. So hopefully I can see you over here.